Greetings. My name is Dan Sabo and I live in Michigan. And as many Michiganders, I'm very fed up with what's going on in Lansing, our state capital. Uh, fed up with the shenanigans of the leadership of the uh, GOP. And uh, I made a, uh, an earlier companion video to this. And uh, if you want to take a look at it, uh, I titled it Michigan COVID-19 Pandemic Protests. Does Governor Whitmer have emergency powers after a 30-day limit? And uh, I stated, yes, she does. And I substantiated why. She has that, so I'm not going to go over that right now. But the reason why I'm making this video, um, uh, I'm going to answer the question, why are Republicans so angry at Gretchen Whitmer? Uh, and I'm going to show you why they are. Now, basically, their beef is over this law right here. Okay, this is a law that was passed in 1976. It's called the Emergency Management Act excerpt. I covered this in detail in the, in the previous mission video. Um, but... Uh, this is a different subject, and why are they so angry at her? Now, I'm asking that question. So I did a little homework, and uh, in that previous video, I cited uh, an older law that was passed in 1945. Uh, uh, and this, this law was passed uh, to as an addendum, I suppose, to that. And we also had a, a constitutional convention. We, uh, there was a constitution change in 1963 that also deals with emergency powers. So there are basically three, uh, there are two laws and then there's a, <clears throat> uh, a section in the constitution about emergency powers. But basically, um, did a little homework and uh, the first law, the original law that was passed in 1945, that was passed, oh, guess what? Under Mr. Harry Kelly. Oh, and guess what? He's a Republican. So the first emergency powers uh, law that the Rep Republicans also refer to, often refer to, passed under a Republican governor. Okay. The Constitution, the 1963 section about emergency powers. Oh, that was under George Romney, another Republican. Um, Constitution was... Uh, uh, upgraded and uh, in regard to emergency powers um, provided to the governor. This was all done under a Republican governor. And now we have this law passed in 1976, Emergency Management Act. Oh, and guess what? Passed under another Republican governor. All Republican, all men. Okay. Now, just as a footnote, I really love this guy. This was the last good, decent, honest Republican that we had as a governor. I still miss this guy. He's a good man up from Traverse City. So now as we go on, uh, so uh, Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky has his underwear all in a bunch because he's so upset. He thinks that Governor Whitner does not have emergency powers, even though the law says she does. And she does have emergency powers past the 28-day limit. Uh, and I covered that in detail in the previous mentioned video. Uh, my point is this. Um, if the Republicans are so upset about this law, and if they really think that this law does not bestow her that power past the 28-day limit without her approval, then why didn't they change it? I mean, this law has been on the books over 40 years, 40 years. Now, I ask that because um, Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky, a Republican, a conservative Republican, he was in the Michigan House of Representatives for four years from 2010 to 2014, and he's been in the Senate since 2015. So he's been in Lansing a long time, and he's a Republican. And also to note that the Michigan State Senate had the last time we had a Democrat control of the Michigan State Senate was 1984. They have they've been in control since 1984, since I was 24 years. OK, and uh, the Michigan House, by the way, they've been under Republican control control since 2010. So and Rick Snyder our most recent Republican governor, 
the man who poisoned Flint, but that's a whole other story. He was in charge from 2010 to 2019. Eight years. So for eight years, the Michigan State Senate, the Michigan State House, and the governor's mansion, all in Republican control. Now, if they think that this law um, is so horrible, then why didn't they do anything about it? Why did, what did Mike Shirky do about it? Or Rick Snyder? Nothing. So that comes to the um, conclusion, why are they so angry? The reason why they are angry is because now there is a woman in charge in Lansing. We have Gretchen Whitmer, she's a Democrat, and she's a female. And that just drives these Republicans nuts. They can't stand the fact that we've had two female Democrat governors. Uh, and it just drives them nuts. So what they're going to do is they're going to say, because she's a woman, she, she doesn't have the authority, even though, even though for decades, the male Republicans were perfectly fine with this law. And if it was so fucked up, excuse my language, <laughs> if it was so messed up, then why didn't they change it? Um, so that's the situation. Now, I'm going to do another video on Mike Shirky about how he's misinforming and misleading everybody in Michigan on this COVID response situation. But this, this is what it comes down to. Um, Donald Trump, our president, doesn't like Gretchen Whitmer. So the Republicans in Lansing, they have to, they have to be Trump's errand boy and do his bidding and instead of the, the, the work for the people of Michigan. So this is, this is all about sexism in large part. There are a couple of other issues too. But uh, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be going through this mess if we had a Republican governor a Republican male governor, they'd be just fine with this order. And you know what? Republican governors like emergency powers too, because we had Rick Snyder um, um, strip away voting rights from the city of Flint and poison an entire town. So that's okay. The Republicans can do that. But when Gretchen Whitmer tries to save lives, oh no, oh no, uh, uh, it's a woman in charge. We can't have that. So that's what this is all about. Mike Shirky, uh, the, the Senate Majority Leader, he's not fooling anybody. So, Mike, please, uh, on behalf of the people of Michigan, start telling the truth. Thank you very much.